What's up you guys, this is Zachary here, and I hope the audio is coming very well. Um, I'm using AirPods as a mic right now, and <laughs> we'll see how this works out. Today we're going to be talking about the iPhone SE uh, Generation 2, so that's the one that came out last week. And I'm going to kind of give my thoughts and opinions on it and go from there. So if you remember the first iPhone SE, uh, that came out in March 31st, 2016. It was a refresh to the iPhone 5S body, and it kind of just crammed all the iPhone 6S internals inside of it. Um, this was really popular back then when it came out, and that is because the iPhone 5S was probably one of the best size and designs of the iPhone in my opinion and I think a lot of people felt the same way especially after moving to the iPhone 6 and 6s um, just having that smaller form factor it really was a hit in India and everywhere else so I think it was a nice spot for Apple um, with a nice price range of $399. Uh, just a little spec rundown back then it was um, getting better battery life with the A9 CPU. Uh, it had two gigs of RAM and the camera from the iPhone 6S. So this time Apple is trying again. Um, we have the iPhone SE 2. It is crammed inside of the iPhone 8 body. Uh, so you're getting that glass front, glass back, um, sandwiching that aluminum frame. There will be three colors. The black is a darker black than what we saw on the iPhone 8 originally. Uh, more black than space gray, I would assume. Um, to me, the first iPhone uh, 8 definitely looked more like a space gray. You're also getting red and white. Um, this time the red is uh, product red again, but it will not be donating its proceeds to AIDS, it will actually be going to a COVID-19 response. It comes in three different storage sizes. Uh, that's going to be 64, 128, and 256. And the price goes up respectively per one. The display is remaining the same. It's the iPhone 8 display, and I believe the force touch layer or 3D touch layer is taken out of it this time. You're still getting that 4.7 inch um, retina display and i mean it's not a terrible display it's not amazing but again the phone is only 399 dollars starting so it's a decent display especially for the screen size your selfie camera is going to be the same at 7 megapixels and that's going to run you at 1080 um, only at 30 fps on the front facing camera uh, you're also going to get touch ig uh, touch ig Touch ID, uh, Generation 2, you're getting the A13 Bionic chip um, up from the A11 that was originally on the iPhone 8, and you're also getting one meter of depth water resistant for 30 minutes. Going over the back cameras, you're going to get a, um, you're getting portrait mode with advanced bokeh and the depth control that we all know. Portrait lighting and next-gen HDR photos. You're also going to be getting 4K at 24, 30, and 60 FPS. Though the extended dynamic range is only on the 30 and 24 FPS. You're, you are getting stereo recording. And uh, the front-facing camera is getting portrait mode and lighting. Now, if you remember, the iPhone 8 didn't have a Face ID sensor, and it could not do the portrait mode. However, Apple is claiming with the A13, they're able to do this and pull this off through software. So, yes, there will be a software-based portrait mode um, in the front-facing camera of this one. You are getting a better network. You're getting gigabit class LTE, whatever that means nowadays. I, I don't really know how much faster the antennas are getting on LTE. Um, I just, I think LTE is LTE and the speeds are pretty much all the same. Um, and maybe once people start going onto the 5G network, LTE will have a little bit more bandwidth to speed up, but that's just my personal opinion. You are getting Wi-Fi 6 which is a big plus um, 
to make sure your phone continues to be supported in the future. And last but not least, Apple did add eSIM uh, support to this iPhone. It wasn't in it originally. And so now you can have both a physical SIM and the eSIM. So keep that in mind. So who is the iPhone SE for? Um, with COVID-19 being around, budgets are kind of constrained. Maybe you don't want to go out and buy the iPhone 11. Maybe it's just too much money. Uh, for $399, you can get the A13 that is in the iPhone 11. You can get portrait mode. You can get all of these good technologies. A slightly worse display, but honestly, is most the basic consumer going to be able to see it? I don't really think so. And I think this is going to be a good market for India and for China and these for these other countries that this market actually nails. Um, however, if you really just don't feel like spending that kind of money, for $3.99 you're not getting a, a bad deal at all. And software support is going to be supported as long as the iPhone 11 and 11 Pros are. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and give a thumbs up. Also, if you miss, I did announce the giveaway winner and the link will be right here. And I thank you guys. And I am also about to record another video. So if you see me in the same shirt and three videos in one day, it's because they were all filmed in one day. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.